Underwater world race and development of the submarine world is changing rapidly, and in 2019 feels like the start of a sharp increase in the level of underwater power development. Maybe because of the pause after the end of the Cold War, or because of the beginning of the next industrial revolution, many things were heating up. The new submarine that has the most prominent strength in 2019 is Belgorod. Russia's newest super submarine was launched on April 24 in Severodvinsk. Belgorod is second only to the famous Typhoon class in terms of size, reports Forbes. But the increase is not only in body size. Belgorod is expected to be the first submarine to carry an enigmatic Russian superweapon, the Poseidon Intercontinental Nuclear-Powered Nuclear-Armed Autonomous Torpedo. The easy term to understand is probably, Mega Torpedo. Its size is around 20 to 30 times the size of an ordinary torpedo, or twice the size of a ballistic missile. Poseidon carries a 2-megaton nuclear warhead and can target coastal cities like New York or San Francisco. And with its unlimited reach and deep diving ability, Belgorod will be challenging to fight. Belgorod has another power hidden in it. In addition to carrying six Poseidon, Belgorod can act as a submarine submarine for Russian secret midget submarines. Many submarines can work on communication cables, such as internet cables far below sea level. This makes it a spy submarine. Not only Russia, the U.S. Navy also gave the world's first contract for an extra-large unmanned underwater vehicle, XLUUV, in February. Boeing will build the Orca XLUUV which is basically a full-size submarine but summarized because it does not have a crew. Orca will most likely go down in history as one of the most important designs of all time, unless other countries defeat America. In Japan, the second lithium-ion submarine that complements the Soryu class was launched in November. This increased Soryu's underwater range. Submarines are slow to adopt new battery technology because of safety concerns. So, if the Japanese project is successful, it can lead to another revolution in non-nuclear submarine technology. Elsewhere, France launched the first Suffren-class nuclear-powered submarine in July. The sleek and impressive submarine is roughly equivalent to the Marine Nationale. With the U.S. Navy in the Virginia class or the Royal Navy's astute class submarine. And at the other end of the world, Myanmar has received its first submarine. The former Kilo class submarine from the Indian Navy and will be used to develop Myanmar submarine capabilities. This is part of a broader trend that is seeing many small navies building submarine capabilities. Maybe this is a trend that is bigger and more changing the world. Hiding under the surface and attacking large naval projects